Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss on how can we control cache controls in POS of O2 16. Cache control is really important as it keeps a record of all the amount that comes during the opening and closing of the session. The amount of the cache box can be easily recorded with the use of cache in and cache out functionality in POS of O2 16. Let us see how it works. So now let us go inside the POS module. So after going inside the POS module here, you can see all the sessions that is available in the POS. And if you go to the configuration settings of the POS session, you can see an option to enable that is to set the maximum difference amount during the opening and closing of the session. You can add the value for that from here. So after enabling it, you can get a field here to add the value. And here you can add the coins and bills to be displayed in the opening and closing of the session. You can add the coins here. And let me save the settings after that. So after saving the settings, now you can go to the dashboard and you can open a new session. And here you can manually give the opening cash amount. And here you can set the coins and bills that you have set in the configuration settings in the POS session. So let me give the amount manually and let me confirm it. And you can see the money details that you have added. And let me open the session. Before that, let me edit the opening cash amount and let me confirm it and open the session. And after opening the session, now you can add the orders. That is the products to the order line. And you can see the amount of the product that has been added to the order line per units. And you can also see the total amount. And you can see the taxes amount here. And here you can add the customer and do the payment. So going to the payment section, you have the different payment methods. So you can add one of the method and validate it. So after you have validated it, you can see the bill for this product has been generated. And you can see other details about the order and you can also see the tax details. And if you want to create a new order, you can go back, you can click on new orders. And here you have the feature called cash in and cash out where you can record the amount you have withdrawn from your cash box for your business purpose. So you can add the amount here. So after adding the amount, you can also add the reason for which you have taken the amount from the cash box and you can confirm it. And after confirming it, you can add the order to the products to the order line and you can add the payment method and validate it. And you can see the bill is generated. And if you try to close the session, you can see other details about the closing session you can see that the total orders that is done inside the session and the amount you can see the cash amount here the expected amount and the counted amount you can also see the difference inside this peer session and here you can see other details regarding the session you can see the cash out amount that you have done that is 400 rupees and the reason for that and the payments in cash, you can see the cash amount that you have done in payment. And other uh, details regarding the session. And here you can manually add the counted amount. So before that, if you try to close the session, you can you will be getting a pop up here, which denotes that you want if you want to know the difference in the profit and loss journal entry. So let me just cancel it and just give the amount, counted amount manually. So after I have given the counted amount, you can see the difference is calculated at zero and let me now close the session. So now as I have closed the session, you can go to the orders and here you can see all the orders that you have done during the POS session. 
you can see other informations about the orders you have done inside the session you can see the payment details here and in the orders in the sessions here you can see other details that is the point of sale and the which POS session it is and the open person's name that is the session is opened by and the opening dates the closing closing dates and the status of the peer session if you go inside here you can see all the orders that you have done inside the peer session and you can see other details that is the delivery the product delivery here and if you go back you can you have the option to group it by the opened by so you can group it by the opened by person you can also group it by the PO, POS that is the point of sale and you also have the feature to group it by the status of the session so you can see all the details here and now let me just go back here so this is how you manage the cash controls in POS of O216 Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.